Hello there everybody, this is Ira and it's Friday and that means usually either a game critique or an indie game and since I have not had time this week to put together a critique, although more is coming soon I promise, uh, I thought we'd take a look at an indie game. So this is Moo Cartographer. It is by Tituan Millet from France and it is available on Steam or on Itch for uh, five units of currency on Steam, whatever your local currency is and five dollars if you buy it through itch. Uh, actually, I just want to let you know that today, and I think for a few more days, maybe almost a week, it is actually on sale on itch for only a dollar. And if you buy it on itch, you do also get a Steam key. So if you're thinking about checking this out, now is the time to do it. And so far, I've played with it a little bit, and I do recommend it. This is definitely my cup of tea. This is my sort of thing. It is gorgeous, it is awesome, and uh, it has gotten generally positive reviews. And, uh, as you can see, not a lot of information. There's no tutorial. This is the interface that you're given, and you just gotta figure out what you're supposed to do. So, on the left here, we've got a little bit of information. We've got, I've discovered something far more amazing than any wonder I'd have expected to find in this jungle, under lavender and vinegar. It's a path to a new place somewhere beyond the known land. And as you can see, when you change these, the blue changes over here. Look over here as well compass. After hours of exhausting efforts, we finally managed to clear the way under the temple. And again, the blue is removed from here, but we get some blue up here. So the blue, as I have figured out, is a guide. It's trying to help you find something. So if we start off on lavender, uh, and basically the way you play is you fiddle around with the dials, and you see the picture in the middle changes, and you also see all the stuff up here changes. This appears to be kind of a zoom in and out kind of thing. Over here, this changes the landscape in different ways. Fiddle around with that. And this one, this one you can actually just continually change. You click that button to toggle. And we've got this thing here, which also does some interesting stuff to the geography. This is just a display. Clicking on it does nothing. Same thing with this one. Uh, this one here, you can turn, and again, everything just changes the geography in some way, or you can click it, and it'll cycle like that. Okay. I mean, even if there were no goals in this, I would think this is worth a dollar just as a relaxing visualizer. Just abstract visuals. I think it's just super lovely. And there's that one. No idea what it does. Okay, so we've got this clue right here, and this thing will ping, looking for something. I have found the compass one to be more useful for the first... Uh, this is the only one that I've completed. I then reset my progress so that I could start from the beginning with you guys. Uh, I figured out how to do this one. So what we do, this one allows us to move around the landscape, and as you see, it also... Oh, oh, there's something right there. Check that out. Okay. Maybe this is what we were looking for. Um, so we have some blue stuff here. And we need to try to get more blue stuff, basically. So we have to fiddle with all the dials until we see... So there's something there. But not not the whole thing. Sometimes if we fiddle with these, I think, we can... Yeah, if I make it a little bit flatter. No. Or maybe this one. Oh, 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 oh! We've got a line there. That's blue. That's good, right? Miss oh, 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 oh! Okay. So we're just missing... Uh, and I only know this because I have actually discovered a couple of these. We are missing... Uh, There's usually like a box here. Um, but I'm not sure how to find that. Maybe we need a different color? Does that change anything? Whoa! It changes the color. There should be some more lines in there somewhere, if only we can figure out how to find them. Hmm... I am not sure. I know that if we succeed, we'll know. Okay, that's that. That's that one. I think we should be able to find those other lines somewhere on here. I am not seeing them. 
Hmm. So I don't know what we're missing in this case. Do we have to zoom differently? Well, that doesn't seem to do any good. Maybe this? Oh, that's... It's done something. Fades in and out as I go up and down or left and right. I don't oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I saw the other. Okay, there's. Where was that? Way up in the corner. I can't seem to get both at once, can I? Can I be affected by these? It looks cool, if nothing else. I'm not sure. This does not seem to affect it. Let's turn off that ping. Alright, I think maybe we'll come back to this one. I want to try the compass task here. So if we... move the right way... get these things lined up. One should be there, and I think this has to be pretty precise. And then that... There. And then boom! We found a thing! Yes! Success. What did we find? We found Peony. It's a new color. Okay. Oh, it's pretty. And this thing is wigging out. Does that mean there's something nearby? Look at these pretty mountains. Okay, so this is going blue here, so I guess I need to go... Go all the way in. So the only clue so far is that uh, color. I don't see anything here. Oh, I do see something right there. Okay, we found a thing. There we go, that's what's supposed to happen. We get a box, like that. Now we need to find that. And then, oh, oh, did you see that? We found another thing. Stop pinging, it's annoying. What do we find? Knife. And these are giving us little bits of text as well. The land we've just entered is fabulous, yet I can't help but worry about its nature. Alright, so... I want to move... This until those little circles line up. I'm not even looking at the map thing right now, actually. I'm just... Okay. There, and that... There, not quite right, is it? Nope, 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 nope. back that way. Okay. And then this needs to be zoomed to there, and then boom! What have we got? We've got blood. Blood says, The light shining onto the land seemed to change as we walked, painting the peaks and valleys with incredible colors. This thing is going bananas over here. Oh, that is blood. It's, it's, it's pointing in this direction. I don't know if that means we need to go this way. Oh, I think it does. Check that out. We've got another one of these. Okay. That one. We got that one, and can we make a box, please? Almost. There we go. We get uh, new chords. Ooh, it's a new tab. Ongtupka. Okay. I saw giant carvings in the mountains, places from other times, infinite railways, and skeletal shadows wandering aimlessly. Alright, this is sending us this way. Oh! We've got... oh my goodness. We've got blue up here. Looks like that goes that way. Okay. This is quite difficult. Oh! Can we get this to line up? Is the question. This is tricky. I think I've got it. 
pretty much spot on. Okay. Pretty... Just There we go. There's a blue dot there. And this thing is telling me to go to the right, I think. A little radar there. So as you play, you kind of figure out what all the controls do, slowly. Oh, did you see that? Blue just appeared right here. Oh, what's this? Something pretty. It's like a little canyon right there. I love the landscape that generates as you play. Okay, hold on. Because that was blue, and now it's not. Over on the right, I mean. Is there something here? Oh, there is. Okay. Shush. Um, I'm not going to play through all of this, by the way. Because this is definitely something that is about discovery. And, uh... I don't want to take the joy of discovery away from you guys if you decide that you want to play this. In fact, if you, if you decide you want to play this, you might want to just start playing right now. Oh. Oh, I can't... There we go, I got it. Little hint. Spinach. The path has finally opened into a landscape whose sights hit us with all their splendor. Let's see what we get with spinach. It is very, very green. I like this. Can we zoom in a bit? There's like some feature of the landscape here. You'll notice. Oh, so that's what this was for. This allowed us to see uh, this right here. Beautiful. It has to be just right or you can't see it. That's amazing. All right. Um, You? Anything? Nothing. We just kind of wander around for a bit or... find anything. Definitely interested. Okay, so you see this one is blue right here and I don't know what that means at all. Now it's gray. Here it's blue. If it's blue here, does that mean there's something to be found here? <gasps> it does. Look at that. Okay. We know the drill by now, don't we? We make a box somehow. And we push the thing. And we get new coordinates. Gourd. The horses refused to move any further. We had to pack as much equipment and supplies as we could into our bags. Okay. What have we got here? We've got... These are gonna be around here. Actually, not too far, I think. Okay, so that. That way. Oh, there? It's not quite on there, is it? That one. That one. And then, oh, into that circle. There, we've got it. What have we got, though? Something new. Sequoia. How can such a place even exist? We went deeper and deeper into the cave, yet we are now standing under a stormy sky. I know we can do this now. Oh, it's so fiddly. It's really quite difficult to get just right. And it does have to be just right, too. Okay, that obviously needs to be there on the left. Just there. Come on. It's this part here, which is the problem. Did we get it? Are we close? But where? Is it right here? How will we know when we found- oh, that was just- there we go. Blue, but not- oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. 
Let me zoom in, take a closer look. Oh, they get shorter as we zoom in. How does that happen? How does that happen? That's very pretty. Okay. So we found a thing. Uh, now what? Now what do we need to do, is the question. We don't have any further clues. We just wander around until we get a new hint, or... I don't see anything here. Was there something here that we need to find? Doesn't seem to be. Maybe we just kind of... keep moving? Got any clues? Wait for something to turn blue? Oh, well, goodbye, Sequoia. I wish there's a way to, to, like, mark where these things are on here. I don't know if there is. There may be. Um, no idea what this does. This just changes the transparency. I figured that much out. Doesn't seem to do anything there. Got nothing there. So we found this one already, didn't we? I wish it would take out the blue if we've already found the thing. But I guess it's so you can find it again. So I guess that's the way to mark it. It's just like... You find it again. <laughs> Alright, what have we not found? Did we find lavender? Because I'm not sure if we did. I think this one was this one was close to the start, wasn't it? And we couldn't uh, figure out how to get the box to appear to get the whole clue. I'm guessing this stuff is randomized, but it, it should be possible, right? Oh, these two are filled in. Spinach is thought. Does that mean we haven't found the spinach clue yet? Of course, I have no idea where it will be. Just kind of wander. There's something there. I think this is the one we've already found, right? Or is it not? Maybe not. Do they disappear after we find them? I'm actually not sure. I'm trying, trying to adjust. Aha! Uh -huh. We do get a new one. Okay, cool. Uh, and what? Oh! Mold. That's new. Tar cartography of this world will be the work of my life. Oh, that's cool. I like that. But it doesn't seem to give us any clues, though. Okay, that's turned blue. There we go. How many of these are there around that we find them so quickly? I wonder. Uh, this is just, even though once you've kind of figured this part out, it's not difficult anymore, it is just, like, super relaxing. Just gently fiddling with the dials, seeing what you can discover. Blackberry. Huh. Oh, and we have got a big clue here. Follow these directions here. Oh, there's something there. <gasps> oh, is this the sequoia forest where we just were? It is. Okay. This is showing something. We need to zoom in. Get it. Try to get it right in the center. Centering it, so we can zoom all the way in on it. Oh, really has to be just right exactly in the center, doesn't it? Yes, that's what we needed to do. What did we get? Coffee. Okay, we definitely haven't gotten this one yet, and yet it's filled in. So I have no idea. <laughs> in that case. Okay, zoom out. 
Follow the dial at the bottom there. Until it pings something for us, I guess. So this is coffee, is it? Looks a little red to be coffee, to be honest with you. My coffee is usually not red. Not, not usually. Oh! Something here. I guess this is not what this is pointing us towards. So there's just a lot of stuff to find. Is this the one that I had before? Those are way up there. Those are way down here. <gasps> Got it! What you giving us? Guatemala. I can actually read this one. Oh, goodness. Alright. This is doable, I know it is. Uh, huh? That has to be there. There. Up. Okay. And is that it? It really has to be exactly precise for it to give it to you. There we go. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Just this landscape right here? The mountains? I mean, it's pretty. I guess these are just for looking at. I don't think we found anything at these uh, wavelengths, have we? Alright, well let's leave it at that wavelength and then we'll keep going until we ping something. There it is. We'll do the same thing again. Centering it. Zooming in. Centering it. Zooming in. Got it. Cool. Nougat. Give me nougat. That's nougat? Hmm. Over the last few days we've been walking at a good pace, only stopping on top of hills to mark down the reliefs. Very nice. Alright, um, I think maybe we'll do this- this last one. Find this last thing that it's trying to get me to find over here. And then, uh, I'll probably call this one, because basically I just- I don't want to give away too much of the game. I don't know how long the game is, I have not completed it, but I don't think it's very long. And I think you get the idea anyway. It seems to be just repeating the same... sort of process over and over again. I do love how, even though this looks so impenetrable at first glance, the more you play with it, the more kind of intuitive it becomes, until you're just used to the controls being this way. There it is. Got this one. In we zoom. Come on you, stay in the center. Guess I'm not good at figuring out where the center is. Got it! So here's our last one, and it says thermometer. I haven't drunk nor slept in weeks. How the hell am I not dead yet? That is a very good question. Alright, I am definitely going to continue exploring. This is a really cool landscape. Um, I'm having a great time. I think this is a spectacular little game slash toy. Uh, if you like it, as I said, it is on sale right now for only a dollar on itch, and you do get a Steam key with that, so you can even play it on Steam. Um, the creator of this game, again, is, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, Tituan Millet, or Millet, I'm not sure, I'm not good at French. Uh, and also, on Steam, this is his only game, but on uh, Itch, there is a collection of other kind of games and toys, all with, I think, fairly similar types of mechanics and visuals. Seems to be this, this person's kind of thing, but they do. 
Uh, and this is the only one that is paid. The others are free. So if you just want to play around with something with this type of visual aesthetic, you might be able to find something there for free. I will put all the links down in the description, of course. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for clicking thumbs up if you liked the video, or thumbs down if you didn't. Thank you for leaving a comment with, with absolutely anything. I'll be very happy to hear from you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.